All right, it is time. I guess we could try building a planet with a star next to it, but I have a feeling it would end horribly. I mean, in reality, star is just a fusion reactor if you really think well once i'm kind of curious so i'm assuming i've never actually really done fusion in this game i'm going to assume i know how to do fusion in this game probably get a hydrogen right so let's try fusion part of me thinks that this can only be done safely inside of uh probably diamond but I don't want to use diamond because that's cheating, so we're going to find an alternative method. Even if it means me making a fool of myself. Alright. Hydrogen! Okay, that's a lot of hydrogen. So now what we have to do is we have to get it over 40. Alright, that's at 70, 80. And will it stay over? No. No, okay. I remember the colloid. Thank you, Space Road, for the $2. See, someone, of course, the coolest people remember, the Super Chatter. Come on. Imagine not being a Super Chatter. Lame. No, I'm joking. Some of you don't have, like, money. I'm sorry. I'll be less mean. All right, now if we heat this up to 4,000 degrees... Seems a little bit excessive to me, but you know, okay, so we'll just save this very quickly. Uh, Fusion Boy? God, I love Fusion Boy. Oh! It did it! Yo! Oh, wow! It's... Is that it? Is it just gonna do this forever now? Is it just gonna stay like that forever? Is this- oh, it's just like smoke in the center. What is that? Does it turn into anything? So it's just gonna stay at 2,000 degrees forever? Wow! Ah! We can't just give up the secrets of the soap star. Not that easily. If you shout it loud, it won't make it any better. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And then I have to mix properly. It's like a cake. Do not forget to mix your planet properly. Alright? If you don't mix your planet properly, you're in trouble. Alright, so now we let it cool a bit. Two soap stars! Thank you, Space World, for the $10 super chat. Wow. You guys really do want a soap star. All right, I may I may be able to make it happen. Possibly, the chances have one up. We'll see. All right, that looks good. It's looking better. Oh, I am so dumb. I have gravity on. So it got pulled down by normal gravity. Oh, dumb spike. Wow. That is such a rookie mistake when making planets. I mean, okay, that, that's a bit better. Wow. Small brain spike. Small brain spike. Alright, now for detail reasons, we're just gonna go around and kind of cut off that outside layer. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to get sand and just go like this around the entire thing very nice we'll grab some water oh it's still a little bit warm all right let's cool it down a bit oh yeah everything's glowing inside it's never a good sign I mean, unless you like the heat, then it probably is a good sign. Here, here's how the flow chart goes. Is it glowing? Is it supposed to be hot? <laughs> there you go! That, that answers pretty much all the- Oh yeah, that's an interesting- it's more of a water world, this one. We don't have, like, any super, super wackiness going on. Um, but what is, like, dirt? Islands. 
All right, cool. Put some vines on the wood. This is like a less dangerous version of plant. All right, 4,000. Oh my God. Oh wow, we did it. Oh no, it stopped. Okay, one sec. We have to get it more stable again. Oh no, it was so close. It was so close. It was so close. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I will not have my fusion dreams killed. Oh. Oh, it was actually so close though. It's all right. You know, it's not every day you make a star. Oop. It's not every day you make a star. Okay, so that actually wasn't awful. It was just... <sighs> okay, so we need something to hold the heat in, like, moltenness. Like, the center of the sun. And then we need an outside that can handle the, pr the pressure and heat. I don't think quartz does too well with the pressure, but we... <gasps> oh, we did it! Yes! Yes! Okay, half of the planet is now very unhappy, but that looks good to me. It's sticking at about 2,000 degrees. Uh, is it actually reacting, or is it just sad? Oh, didn't mean to do that. I think it's kind of given up. If I give it a little bit of a spark, though. Uh? Uh, can it hold its temperature? I mean, something's going on. It is rather warm on the surface of the planet. Give the planet an atmosphere to protect- I have a bad feeling about putting oxygen onto this, I'll be honest. Um, I have a feeling that may lead to some issues, but I'll try. <laughs> do 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 do. Alright, it's not quite- hot enough for the oxygen to just explode and die, so... Oh, it is, it is actually helping drop the temperature a bit. Alright. This is a very lopsided atmosphere. Why does the gases like to spread out width-wise so much? Kind of interesting. Oxygen and nitrogen. Do we have nitrogen? I don't see nitrogen. I see sadness. And glory on the horizon. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can keep saying nitrogen, but that doesn't mean it's in the game. The atmosphere is kind of escaping to the sun. And I actually think I can remove the outer layer of the sun and just have it be the happy titanium. Oh, it's losing the temperature so fast. Or just to hold the atmosphere in, I know, it's it's not super realistic, but uh, I think I think it'll make it play out a bit better. We just put something to contain the atmosphere. Why don't you just use mods? Because I haven't gotten through everything I want to in the base game. There's more I want to do. Oh, sh shoot. Okay, stubborn. Alright, you know what? I have ways to deal with this. <laughs> Do this. Oh, that is some interesting rain cover it's getting. Hey, look at the water go! Okay, that is too much water. Let's just calm that down a little bit. Hey, 
It's got a blanket. <laughs> Alright, can I make this look less awful? That's the question. Let's go to the decoration tools and see if I can just... Ye uh, what's a skyish blue? Can I do a color picker? That would be really useful, but I don't think I can. Alright, we need like a light blue. Like this blue? I mean, could be worse. No, it doesn't look fantastic, but it works, and the heating is actually not awful. It is about 100 degrees on the surface. Soap tank. Oh, God, why do you guys like soap so much? All right, once I'm curious if I just make all of this. Oh, that looks awful. This actually doesn't look too, too bad. Spray it with liquid nitrogen. I usually don't spray planets with liquid nitrogen for personal reasons, but we can, we can try it. Whee! Yeah, it's not really changing much. Like, all the water has disappeared. This is so sad. The sun is just so warm! Who would have thought? Who could have expected the Minecraft Sky Limit be like? Yes, pretty much. Actually, I have actually just come up with a legitimate use case for soap, kind of looking like snow. No, actually, there's literally snow in the game. There's no reason to do that. Yeah, I still don't see a legitimate use case for soap. All right. Clearly, you guys really like soap, though. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put soap on the sun. I don't know what effects this will have. All right, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to save. Um, I, we're gonna put soap on the sun. Because I promised I would make a soap star. Things are happening. It's starting to bump. It kind of actually looks like the surface of the sun now. I'm not gonna lie, that looks kind of cool. Are you kidding me? Is that what I have to do to make it actually look like a star? I have to use soap? Hmm. <laughs> Ambient he is on. That's what this A here is. Hmm. All right. Uh, the soap is getting pretty warm. It's at 300 degrees. Let's warm it up a bit more. I want to see if the soap gets angry what happens. Like, really angry soap. Alright. Oh! I think we just... Um... Well, uh, the star just kind of collapsed on itself, and now there's several thousand degree just particles of noble gas colliding. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on the heat display. Alright, now we can view the true heat of the soap. I mean, even at like... Oh, wow. We're gonna get the soap pretty damn warm, can't we? True soap. This heat wave. PSA, imagine not being a member. Thank you, Cole, for another $5 super chat. Also, remelt the planet and see what happens. Don't worry, I'm one step ahead of you. Hmm. Oh my god, you can make rectangles in this game? That's amazing, I never knew that. All right, so as we can see, this heat is definitely moving. <laughs> the quartz outer shell protecting the planet is now at 200 degrees, but this super warm, super warm layer is starting to come in from the soap. 
and we're gonna see some very fast progression now once that red wave smacks into it not trying to be political it's literally a red wave smacking into the blue wave oh here it goes oh is it stopped is the pressure going to keep it from colliding Ooh. Very interesting. Nope, it's definitely still moving. More slowly, but it's certainly getting closer. Alright. Let's go ahead and turn off the temperature, because we already know what's happening. And let's get rid of gravity. Now there's a soap meteor shower. And the soap is at 7,000 degrees. <laughs> Oh my god. What's going to happen? Oh. Will it hold? Will the quartz shell hold? No! It's starting to leak! <laughs> oh god. The soapocalypse. It's starting to fall in. The planet. All the water is gone, but there's still life on it. Will it survive? The soap is trying to burrow its way in. Oh, it lit the oxygen on fire! Oh, that's not good. The atmosphere just combusted. Oh, no! Oh, and now it's melting. Only the top layer is melting, though. Oh. Wow, look at that. That's the entire defensive layer. It just kind of fell in. It, like, broke and fell in. That's really neat. It looks like it shattered. Oh. Wow. Well, the only thing that shattered here is the dreams of the people who lived on that planet. Damn. That is, uh... That's quite a bit of damage. Now there's just a soap planet. I like how the one extra particle of soap just falls over. It's like, hey, you forgot me, friends! Uh... So... Soap... Soap planet is happy. What are we gonna do to the soap... Soap gun! We will shoot the soap planet with a soap gun, I guess. Might as well call me Spud Viper at this point. This is just getting ridiculous. Alright, here's the chamber of the gun. What are we gonna use to drive it? We'll use a nuclear bomb. <laughs> I like how I can say that just completely casually. Yeah, we'll use a nuclear bomb to just prevent- We're actually gonna use diamond this time because I could care less. Or couldn't care less, however you say it, darn it. The point being, it's a soap gun. I don't really care about being realistic at this point. Alright, we'll fill this with soap. Right. Okay, we need to prevent the soap from escaping, so we will just put a temporary uh, iron covering here that'll just die at some point. Put a temporary iron covering here. We will fill this with plutonium, and then I will strike the match, <laughs> and very hot soap is about to hit. <laughs> we. <laughs> I like how almost everything but the soap hit first. Fantastic design. Well. Uh, I think, I think I did it. I think I have, uh, contractually, but uh, I think I have fulfilled my contractual obligations to build a soap star and a soap gun and a soap planet. So with that, I am going to end the stream because I'm awful, but wait, wait before I go. Don't leave yet. There's one thing we're still going to do. We're going to talk about how you can support the channel to get more soap streams. 
subscribe, hit the notification bell. Only 5% of you have hit the notification bell. That's, that's 1 out of 20. 1 out of like 20. You guys can do better. If all 350 of you watching right now hit that notification bell, we would get those numbers up real fast. And then finally, if you want to talk to me, give me suggestions for the next video, yell at me at how I'm bad at the powder toy, you can go ahead and go over to- oh. You can go ahead over to... Discord. Dot GG. Slash. Spook. Vooper. As I said before, we're having some run-ins with Discord right now, so, um... You can join and talk, things may be a little bit wacky though, so I, I can't make any real promises. Um, but I'll be there, and you can talk to us, become a part of the community. We run a virtual co uh, country, pretty exciting. We have an economy and a stock market, which I programmed. Senators, you can write laws for your fellow Vuperians, it's super exciting, so you should go ahead and join. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and don't forget to watch the video version of this because that's how I really like succeed. Streams are fun but videos are more important. I will see you all next time. Peace out.